NFL Week 9, Top 5, Bottom 5. This is our rankings. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. You can check out all of them over at tunicatravel.com. Let's jump right into this bad boy. We're doing 32 through 28. Let's go on with 32. I think I think you finally convinced me. Had a boy. Listen. The Oakland Raiders are, without a doubt, the worst team in the NFL. It is not even close. A guy that has never sniffed the field, never been better than third string in the NFL for the last year and this year. Uh, the guy that couldn't get a, like a D1 offer. Yeah, D1 offer. And just, not a D1, but a, a Power 5 power, offer. Yeah. How's that? Just, just dropped three touchdowns and whipped your butt. Yeah. And and looked great, like perfect passer rating, kind of like that whole thing. Listen, Nick who, Mullins who says campaign ads don't work. Nick Mullins in San Francisco just just peed all over. I mean, it was bad. It was it was awful. All right, so the Raiders are awful. Uh, number thirty one, I got the Buffalo Bills right now. Oh, okay. I, you think you you influenced me last week? They didn't play, but the last time they have played, they looked really bad. I'm going with the Giants. See, now here's the thing. I finally they, moved them all the way down just because, God, they look They bad. lost by one touchdown to the Redskins. Yeah, but we – And, and they've, they've been a home close. game. I understand, but they have been really close okay. against – like and, and, yes, they are bad. Don't get me wrong. You they, don't have to sell me on awful. the Bills. I got them uh, next. So. But the Bills are – yeah, the Bills are bad. The Giants are number 30 for me. Yeah, so we, like, we've got those just flipped a little. You remember – I've talked about this, though. I, like, I wonder if the Giants – like. I think they could lose to anybody, but like they keep it really close with some some, some fairly teams. decent teams. Some teams, uh, yeah, some teams. I mean, when you're a home dog, you're supposed to keep it close, though. Well, agreed. I mean, they were only a one point dog. Yeah, but they shouldn't have been. They should have been way more net. But they, they only lost by touchdown. I, I get so, that. So, uh, Giants number thirty. I got the Forty Nine ers at twenty nine. So I've got the Cardinals. I know that they've lost to the Giants or to the uh, the Forty Nine ers. Uh, they've beaten the 49ers both times they played them. I think this 49er team showed life. Well, they absolutely showed life, but I mean, you can't have the Cardinals lower than the 49ers when they beat the them Cardinals twice. Beat them twice. Twice. I know. I felt ridiculous doing it. Look, it, Nick Mullins might be the turning point. Like, what if he's it's the, entirely what if possible. he's the chosen one? Now, I, I'll tell you this: like the Cardinals, like. I'm reserving been, hope for the fact that Mullins might turn the season around. I have been preaching. To you about how bad this Cardinals offensive line is, about how bad just the the team itself is. Like they are aging, they are. You know in, why I finally dropped them when I defended them all this time? I, they're just terrible to watch. It, yeah, you'd be great, be terrible. I've said this forever. I stole it from Colin Cowherd years. They're ago. really you, bad to watch. You can be bad. You have to be at least entertaining. They, and and even with Josh Rosen, they're just not entertaining. No, David so. Johnson, not enter- like there's nothing fun about watching that when the red zone goes to their games. I flip the channel to a single game. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm just – I'm good. I don't need to see this highlight. It's okay. Yeah. All right, so you got the Cardinals 29. I got the 49ers. I got the Browns at 28. I got the Browns at 28, too. Okay. So, I've, I've got the Cardinals at 27. You got the 49ers at 27? I mean, I, we're, we're not ranking yeah. that. Yeah, if, like, I, if I was going to go 27, I'd give the 49ers that spot. But I reserve my right for Nick Mullins to maybe change our minds. It, let me see Nick Mullins do it against the Giants this week. Because that's well, he's got two bad teams he's gonna play. I know, but, but like, if he uh, beats but, both of them the way he's supposed to, yeah, damn, yeah, then then you're looking at something. Get then, that man something. Then we'll see, you know, what happens. Trade Jimmy the year, G, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. All right. uh, number five. Who you got number five? This is where like this it is, really. Right, no, now I I have completely changed mine. I've completely changed mine as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. My five. I'm going with the Chargers. That's exactly that who I've got my at Super five. Bowl. That was and my Super Bowl uh, AFC contender before the season now, started when I didn't really know what I was going to expect. Now, this one came down to the Chargers, the Panthers, and the Steelers yeah, for me. That's it. the and Steelers that, are playing really well. That's right. the next. That's the list for the for the next tier. Well, the Vikings are there, too. But but I, I think the— I need to see a little more from the Vikings. Chargers have, have the two best wins, two best losses in the league. Yeah. And they're starting to beat teams up. Like, like they beat up the Browns, the Titans. They they took to the limit in London, and we thought, you well, know, but, maybe but the that Titans was a joke. are pretty good. But, but the Titans might be pretty good, and and they beat up Seattle on the road in Seattle. Now I know it's not the place it used to be, but hey, you let me let me tell you something real quick. Seattle is three and two away from home. Mm-hmm. They are one and two at home. 
Isn't that crazy? But now they played the Rams and the Chargers that's what I said. at home. They, that was it. They've had some. They've had some stiff competition there. But let me tell you kind of what I like about this Chargers team. Because they don't have home field advantage, them go into your place is it doesn't affect them at all. Yeah, it's the they same can, thing. They can go on the road and beat you. They can beat you in L.A. Th- it this is like matter. that Oilers team that played in Memphis years that's ago. Right. Like where it, it it was almost better to play away from home. It was all it was all the other fans that would come to Memphis to watch them. Yeah, number uh, four. I got the Chiefs at number four. I got my Patriots at number four. Really? I know, right? I, I, I they beat the Chiefs. If I'm gonna give the Chargers credit for the two best losses, the Patriots have the two worst losses in the league right now. Yeah, like, but that like was the 49ers, early. the 49ers, I, I get that, I get that, but I'm comparing them to the Chiefs, the Rams, and the Saints, okay? And because you're in comparison with those guys, we're getting down to splitting hairs, and the splitting of the hairs is, you, these guys don't have losses that look like that. Look, to me, the Patriots have won six straight. They beat the Chiefs Correct. straight up. Straight up. Um, so I've got the Patriots at number three. Okay. And, and and I've got the Chiefs at number three. All right, so we we just flip yeah we flip flop those two, and it, it was hard for me to do, but I felt like I got to. I'm not biased about this. I'm I'm really trying to be honest here, and I can't forgive. You know the the Jacksonville one I can forgive because that was their Super Bowl. Yeah, I can't forgive that Lions loss. No, it was it was pretty bad. That's back to back weeks too. Yeah, I mean, but they, you know Matt Patricia. Now I, I think get, we got the same one and two, if I'm if I'm if I'm smelling it right. Uh, I got the, the Rams at two. The Rams have been number one all season. I have the Rams at two. Well, it, it, Saints have won eight s- straight. Seven straight. Seven straight? They've only got eight wins. Oh, that's – no, but they lost the first game of the year. Yeah. So they've got eight wins. Seven. I think they only got seven. I think they had a bye week already. Maybe they – oh, they did, they did, they did. Okay, yeah, yeah. So either way, seven straight wins seven is still straight. like a, a big deal, right? No, no, it's a huge deal. Um, And the Rams had won eight straight before – they went to New Orleans and they put up a hell of a fight. Oh, great game! But great and, game, and it was definitely a we'll, fantastic. We'll game see that game. we saw. We thought the same. How great was the schedule this year that we got Chiefs Patriots early, and we're getting Rams Saints early. We're going to see those two matchups again in championship form. Oh, I, I we really believe are. that. I believe that one hundred percent. So yeah, Saints number one. I moved the Rams Saints from two. four to one. That's I did the same thing. It, there was parts of that game where they handled handled the Rams. That's I I moved the Patriots up to three because one, they look way better. Oh yeah. With, way better right now. With than, a complete shell of themselves on offense. Yeah. Um but they They're missing maybe and, and their the Chiefs, two best offensive players. The Chiefs defense is just awful. They no, the, okay. They're just I, bad. I will tell you I almost took the Browns out of my bottom and, and put the 49ers in just because man, they played the Chiefs pretty closely. If you turn any of those field goals into touchdowns it's it's a ball game. Yeah. And and that so I was I was kind of proud of Cleveland, but the fact that you can't turn any of those in and Greg Williams is still your coach now, just yeah. Bad. That's the way it goes. All right. right. That is our NFL week nine top five, bottom five. Bam. That's perfect. I'm not gonna turn the light on. Turn the lights uh, off. That was like